It's Sunday. We are leaving church and accepted this order for Uber Eats. $10.52 for only three miles. I just want you to turn on the car. <laughs> it's hot, people. It's Arizona. All right, turn it on the car. Jenny's going to tell us the goal for the day. I have not counseled her into saying anything. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. <laughs> well, we're only doing it for like three hours, so I'm going to say we're going to go for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars in three hours. Thirty-three dollars an hour feels reasonable. That's going to be a little difficult for lunch, but I think we'll at least get close to that. I'm not going to make you dinner tonight if you don't get a hundred dollars. <laughs> well, you got to help me out then. Okay. I'm your moral support. Go, Jacob! <laughs> He'll just sit there, talk to the audience while I do all the work. I'll just entertain you guys while Jacob does his thing. If you live in Arizona, this place is so good. They have this thing called the Dolly Skillet. I could eat it every single day of my entire life. I'd never get sick of it. <laughs> Jacob doesn't take me here because it's too expensive. <laughs> just Taco Bell. Okay, so this order is not too far away. Uber is telling me it's just four minutes, almost two miles. Um, I don't really know where it's going. I guess just to a house. Doesn't give you the address yet? Now it does. It does give me the address, I just didn't look. Oh. Oh, we're getting an Uber Eats offer. Ooh, it looks banging. I think we'll take it. Ooh, 11.50. So yeah, it said 11.53 on that one. Five and a, almost five and a half miles. So like, that's pretty far, but the estimated time was only 21 minutes. And so I figure like that's right on the $30 an hour we want to hit. Right on target. $100, you get dinner tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not even going to be home for dinner. We're going to Jacob's family's house tonight, which is why I don't have to get cook. Anyways, but let's be honest, I was never going to cook. <laughs> that ain't my thing. I want to live here. Okay. All right, we're going to need to make more than $33, Jacob. <laughs> if we want to live here. Wow. How do oh I even Oh my get in? gosh. How do I even get in? This is crazy town. Look at this. What in the world? How do we live there? I think I gotta pull up. It's like, it literally looks like a hotel. I'm pretty sure I've stayed in hotels that are not this nice. This house has its own call thing just for this house. Guys, these two 14 year old boys just came out of this mansion and took the food. And I just wanted to say, excuse me, what do your parents do for a living? <laughs> like, what even, I'm pretty sure somebody famous lives here. This is the yeah. craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, we had to go through a gate for a house. I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Like, One I of going? the Suns players has to live there. The Suns player? I don't know. Now we're going to Crust Brothers. <laughs> That's such a weird name. I know. Crusty Brothers. No, not Crusty. But it sounds like Crusty. <laughs> oh, I want some well, crusty it, brothers right no, now. No, it's pizza. I know, I gathered, but still. <laughs> I actually, I don't know how much we made on that last one. I mean, if there... look, if you're living in that house, you better give me at least a twenty dollar tip. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hey, maybe they did, and maybe this one is also going Do to that neighborhood. Do sixteen-year-olds know how to tip, though? But maybe they're not the ones who ordered it. Maybe. Maybe their parents are famous and that's why they sent their kids out to get it because they were famous and they didn't want us to know who they were. That could be I'm true. I'm convinced. How do you do this without the air conditioning? Well, yeah, I have to film without the air, but... Okay, I guess I can turn that off. See, this is what it sounds like with the air conditioning. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Here you are. That's yours. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah, it's yours. They I... gave it to me for free. What? Oh, I love door dashing. It's a Diet Coke. Oh, I am so happy right now. <laughs> Ladies, find yourself a man that when he gets a free drink, he gets the drink that you want and not the one that he wants. <laughs> okay, so this house is not going to be as fancy, mm -hmm. but it's still in a good neighborhood. I like going to fancy houses. <laughs> what did you just say? I said we're the Uber Eats people now. Yes, because while we're on this delivery, we're about like one minute away, almost there, and I get another offer from Uber Eats, and it's twenty-five dollars. Just ahead, make a left turn on right. Eighty-sixth Street. All right, lady. We're rolling in it. And twenty-five dollars for forty-three minutes. It is ten miles, so we have no idea where we're going to end up at the end of this order. I feel like we could afford a house over here. It's possible. I mean, once 
once uh, my YouTube keeps taking off. Yeah. And our YouTube. And our hey, YouTube. Hey, if you ever want to see more of me, we have another YouTube channel and it's called Jacob and Jenny Travel. And it's pretty much just our lives and we travel a lot if you didn't know, so watch that if you want to. That's one of the great things about being entrepreneurs is we can do whatever, do we, whatever want. we want and hopefully make enough money to sustain our lifestyle. So far so good. It appears we're going to Denny's now for both orders. Wait. Oh, that was two orders? I mm -hmm. thought that was $25 for one order. No, 25 for two orders. So, like, I, I still think it's good, though. The only problem is whoever is eight miles away from Denny's is probably not going to get their food hot. So, and it's probably going to be some breakfast food. Oh, like eggs? Yeah. Who wants to have eggs delivered oh, at eight miles? it's probably a cute little old person that can't drive to themselves. Maybe. That makes me sad. Customer's address. Order already picked up from restaurant. Both of them are from Denny's, yes, and both of them were already picked up. Okay, both orders were already picked up. I was told by the restaurant staff. Apparently somebody came in and picked it up about half an hour ago. And oh my gosh. I'm now the third person to come in asking for the order. So I'm gonna get paid at least $3 for this. Hopefully I'm gonna get paid $3 per order. But right now I'm sitting here on phone with support. Uh, trying to get this order canceled. And I'm also on DoorDash and Grubhub trying to find another order in the meantime because I don't like wasting time and I still want to get paid. So it's actually terrible that I drove like three miles to get here, but I guess I can get $6 out of it. What happened, Jacob? Okay, so we got those orders canceled. I was on support. It took a little longer than usual, maybe about like six or seven minutes but the whole time I was running DoorDash and Grubhub and I got a DoorDash order. It's not like the best thing ever, but 675 for 2.3 miles. I think it's a uh, pretty and, good. And we got $3 per order for that one. So we got $6. That was a very difficult delivery. Their elevator is like broken. I'm like sitting there, I pressed the button, fourth floor. I didn't know where the stairs were, but I just pushed the elevator button and I'm waiting probably waited like three minutes for it to come down on it's just four stories now we are off to red robin or donato's pizza i feel like delivering at hotels would be complicated i don't like it at all i i don't know i probably wouldn't have accepted that one but like i was still on the phone with uber support and all that mm -hmm. so that was kind of chaotic but but now we got two more uber eats orders oh my gosh we got one for eight dollars and then one for Twelve dollars, huh. but we have to drive kind of a far distance for the second one. Yeah, like seven miles. Oh my gosh, how much are we making? Uh, twenty dollars total, but maybe maybe there's a hidden tip in there. How long will it take us? Mm, it said like forty minutes total. Not making our thirty-three dollars per hour mark. But maybe $30 an hour, which is still good. I guess. I am really happy that I picked up this Donato's order because as I was carrying the food out of the restaurant, I was stopped and somebody was like, hey, you're Jacob, right? And I was like, yeah. And he said, I watch your videos all the time. So that's pretty cool. So cool. His name was Wyatt. So Wyatt, if you're watching this, like you're really cool. I'm glad I got to meet you. Shout out to Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was the first time that's ever happened. Somebody stopped me and recognized me from my videos. It's like the weirdest, coolest thing. So if you ever see me out there, just say hi, and hopefully I won't be uh, too flustered with all the <laughs> orders I'm taking. First drop off was just horrible. I couldn't even get into the building. They wanted me to go to the third story, but like I needed a, a key fob to get into the building. So I was just like walking around trying to find an entrance, could never find one, so I had to call them. They finally came down. The second one was a lot easier. It was an apartment complex and I'm not a big fan of those, uh, but it wasn't horrible. Can you tell it's going to apartment complexes? Uh, not on Uber Eats, because oh. they won't let you zoom in on the map. That's rough. I would hate to live in two apartments. So confusing in general. Yeah. But and now beans costs. Yeah, $5 a month, yeah. Uh, but we got this uh, nice Grubhub order, $14 for like six and a half miles. And I get to go pee. And yes. That's all I care about right now. Use this as a restroom break. Jenny went into the store before me to use the restroom. And then when I came in, I picked up the order. I put it in my hot bag and I'm all ready to go. And she's still not back. Just, just waiting. 
There she is. All right, let's leave her. Wow, someone finally decided to show up. <laughs> All right. Jacob texted me that he was leaving. Well, Rude. I have the order ready to go. What do you want me to do? Just like make the customer wait an extra 30 seconds? Well, maybe wait for your wife. You know I can't do that. You know I can't wait for you forever. That's true. Maybe just one minute while I pee though. Mm, no, it was more like 45 seconds. <laughs> but that's, that's too long. You got a pretty nice tip from these people. I mean, their house is beautiful. That was a great neighborhood, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going and door dashing and Uber Eats Day or whatever around this area is so hard because I just get so dreamy eyed for all the houses. I think that's one of Jenny's favorite parts it of is. doing delivery. It's just like watching all the houses and everything, and especially during Christmas time. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> so beautiful. Last Christmas, we were just driving together, and she's like, look at all the Christmas lights. Oh, I love it. I can't wait for that. It's not even summertime yet, but yeah. I'm looking forward to Christmas. I'm just really happy that we're receiving these pretty big orders. Like, that one was $14. I'm sure they tipped really well on that one. I mean, if you live in a multi quadrillion dollar house like <laughs> might as well tip good what else are you can do with your money yeah i think those houses were probably well let's just go off the one that i just delivered to that was probably at least two million dollars so crazy uh we did just get this doordash order is ten dollars and 75 cents i'm pretty excited to do this one it's keeping us in our current area that's what I really like. Another thing that I really like is that I'm using Para right now. Para told me that the 1075 order is actually 1225, and they are very confident about that because of their use of the stars within their app, which means like almost 100% guarantee that it's gonna be 1225 when we drop this one off. I'm just so thankful for Para. You can sign up for it. Just use the link in my description and uh, try it out for yourself. Jenny officially got bored. Yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> Trying to take a nap. Like when you're not doing the driving and all the pickups and drop-offs, you know, you're just sitting there. It does get boring, I'm sure. It does, I can testify. <laughs> but we still have a little bit more till we hit our $100 goal. So we're gonna go for at least a couple more deliveries. It's crazy how Para can accurately predict some of those hidden tips. They don't do it 100% of the time, uh, but they never really claim to do it 100% of the time. But when they have the stars next to it, it's really nice because you know, okay, I am getting a hidden tip here. So let me accept this order that I otherwise would have rejected. Jenny's still laying down over there. <laughs> Uh, picked up this Jason's Deli order, $12. Mileage is pretty high, but I wanted to start seeing upfront addresses again, so I accepted it. And uh, hopefully it drops us off in a pretty good area. I think we might get food after this one. We'll have to see. Woo, that's why I'm here. Just kidding, I'm here to spend time with my husband. The place we are trying to go to eat is called Salad and Go, and they just serve salads. And that they have a drive-thru and it's really cheap. That's why yeah. we're going there. And it's healthy, which is nice because there's not a lot of drive through healthy options, but it's like five bucks for like a huge salad. The only problem is we're driving completely in the wrong direction. Yes! Give me the salad! This place really is good. I questioned it at first, but after I tried it like the first or second time, I was hooked. Oh, it's good. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah. Oh, but we forgot to tell you guys that we hit $100. 107, right? Yeah, it was like 107. So $14.31 on Grubhub with that one order. DoorDash was two orders for $20 even. And then Uber Eats was amazing. How much do you think we made? 80? I wasn't listening. Wait. I'm sorry. Like 63, I think. Like $63 over i don't know like eight or probably like seven or eight orders whoop, whoop. because of the two canceled orders so it was a pretty good day we only worked like just over three hours not bad 